skin cancer on the eyelids, cheeks, nose, the forehead are common conditions that I treat because they can all affect the eyeball. As a board certified ophthalmologist with subspecialty training in oculoplastic surgery, I specialize in reconstructive surgery around the eyes. This field of medicine that I specialize in was essentially created to help patients such as yourself. The three most common types of skin cancer that can occur around the eye are basal cell, squamous cell, and melanoma. However, I often treat cancers that are behind the eye in the eye socket, such as lymphoma. If you have a skin cancer around your eye, it can be rather stressful, so allow me to explain some, the whole game plan for you. Step one is to cut out the cancer and make sure that the whole thing is completely gone, and step two is to fix whatever hole was created by treating the cancer. To do this, I often work with a Mohs surgeon. This is a specialized dermatologist that is trained to not only cut out the lesion, but also examine it under the microscope just like a pathologist would do, but it doesn't take a week to get the results back, it only takes about an hour. Mohs is the name of the doctor that invented the technique that we now call Mohs surgery. Briefly, the way Mohs surgery works is as follows. The doctor will cut a small uh, circle around the lesion and then she'll process it and examine it under the microscope. If the whole thing is gone, then you're all set. However, if there are a few cancer cells left, then the Mohs surgeon will go around and cut out just a few more millimeters and then recheck that area. Each round usually takes about an hour. Uh, most patients tell me that the waiting in the, in the waiting area is the most stressful part of the day. It usually takes about one to four rounds, but when you're done with the Mohs surgeon, you're essentially free of any cancer cells in that area. Either that day or the next day, the next morning, you'll come to me and I'll reconstruct the eyelid. My goals are as follows. One is safety. I want the eyelids and the tissue around your eyes to protect your eyeball. Two is function. Your eyelids have to open, close, they have to blink, they have to lubricate your eye, eyeball. If the lesion is on your lower lid it can, and it's not reconstructed correctly, it can pull down on your lower lid and patients have problems closing their eyelid. If it's on your nose, there can be problems with tearing and the tear train, as the tear drain, drainage system goes through your nose. If it's on your forehead or on the outside of your eyelid, people can also have uh, problems closing their eyelid. And three, and just as important, is aesthetics. You have your whole life ahead of you, and as much as is medically possible, I feel that it's extremely important to have both an excellent functional result as well as an excellent cosmetic result. This is your face that we're talking about, and I take that responsibility very seriously. Now, depending on the size and location of the defect, I typically reconstruct your eyelid with either a graft or a flap. A flap is when I take skin from the side of your uh, eyelid and I move it over to fill in the hole. And a graft is when I take skin off the body, and usually it's from the upper eyelid or the clavicle, and I suture it in place to fill in the hole. Generally, we try to do flaps rather than grafts, but luckily, even if you do need a skin graft, these, uh, the eyelids happen to be blessed in that they often heal exceptionally well. The process uh, to reconstruct your eyelid will usually take between an hour and two, and I can either do it with local anesthesia or just intravenous twilight sedation. Luckily, these, these procedures are not very painful at all, and I never prescribe any pain medication, as just Tylenol is all that is needed. Uh, most patients will tell me that they, take, that they took Tylenol for about one day, maybe two at the most, but that's about it. It shouldn't be particularly painful. Afterwards, the main bruising is usually for about two weeks, and the swelling is sometimes for up to about six weeks. Uh, most patients are about 90% healed by the six-week mark, but the healing process actually takes a full year and you're going to see continued improvements over the course of that year. I usually see patients back about one to two weeks after surgery and then about three to five weeks after surgery. And as often as uh, necessary, I will sometimes uh, inject the site with an anti-inflammatory medication to make sure it doesn't scar. I almost always use dissolvable sutures, um, so you don't have to worry about having the sutures taken out. As with any other procedure, there are risks. Um, I do have another video entitled What to Do Before Surgery that explains the main risks associated with eye eyelid surgery. That being said, the main risks specific to an eyelid reconstruction are as follows. So one is scarring. For this, I see patients back frequently and if you start to develop a scar, I can easily inject it with an anti-scarring medication. These work very well around the eyelid, uh, but sometimes do need to repeat it about two to three times. Two is problems with opening or closing the eyelid. The most important aspect of reconstructing your eyelid is to carefully plan it to rearrange tissue so that this is not an issue. 
but depending on your anatomy and the extent of your skin cancer, this can be something that we may have to deal with. Three is either tearing or dryness, which could be uh, which could require other procedures or you might just need artificial tears to help with the dryness. And four, lastly, sometimes these procedures do need to be staged or refined, so additional procedures may be necessary. The alternative to reconstructing the eyelid is something called laissez-faire, which is to do nothing and allow the site to scar in by itself. Uh, while this is sometimes an option, it will often lead to more scarring and more problems. Overall, uh, reconstructing, reconstructive procedures for eyelid cancers can be stressful for patients and their families, but I hope this video was able to provide you with an overview of what is done. Uh, personally, I find these procedures to be some of the most rewarding and gratifying procedures that I do, and I think it's important for patients to understand that at the end of the day, you're going to be essentially uh, beating cancer and even look better than you did beforehand. So uh, lastly, thank you for entrusting me, my staff and me uh, with your eye care. We take this uh, responsibility extremely seriously and take pride in the fact that you chose us to be partners with you in your health. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our office anytime. We're here to help and want to make this process as easy as possible for you. I look forward to helping you and wish you a quick and comfortable recovery.